Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're talking a little bit about an often overlooked part of weightlifting, and that is the health and strength of your hands, specifically your wrist health. So when you consider that throughout the course of a day, usually for most people, they're not handling anything heavier than an iPhone 6. When you combine that with uh, sitting for elongated periods of time at the computer, your wrists are in all kinds of awkward positions for long periods of time. Uh, even if you don't develop anything as serious as carpal tunnel, the chances are that there is some uh, general dysfunction and bad stuff going on with your wrist health. So. When you go into the gym at the end of a long work day, working on the computer, texting on your phone, who knows what else, when you load up a bunch of weight into that hand, it just stands to reason that you are at a heightened uh, risk for injury on the worst case scenario, and best case scenario, you're just not going to experience the level of comfort that you could and you should when you're lifting weight. And of course, if you're experiencing a lot of discomfort with your general technique and form, you're going to hit a level of plateau with your strength very, very quickly because your body does not like to work through pain or really much any level of serious discomfort that again might compromise the joints or lead to injury. So by taking a little bit of time and prehabbing the wrists and the fingers and the arms and the elbows, you're going to make sure that you have a healthy lifting career ahead of you. And this is big time when we're talking about the bench and military presses. So what I'm gonna do is just show you a couple of things that might help with your warm up when it comes to preparing for benching heavy weights. All right guys, so we're actually gonna start here on the floor with some basic gymnastics inspired wrist mobility drills. Quite simply what we're gonna do is just load the hands a little bit here on the floor, go back and forth, just as far as what's comfortable for you. You can make circles, okay? And then of course, kind of coming up onto the fingers a little bit, kind of getting the wrists and the fingers really warmed up. Same idea with the uh, backs of the hands down on the ground, you can rock back and forth. Just exploring the limit and the comfort of your uh, mobility in your wrists. And one might be far more mobile and flexible than the other. That's totally common and normal. Now, there's many variations of doing that and all of those are great. Uh, now what I'm gonna show you is, for lack of a better term, a wrist smash. And what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna put your arm in the crook of your uh, leg so that you're sandwiched in between your calf and your hamstring. So I'm literally putting the squeeze a little bit on the wrist, mostly on the forearm, and I'm actually just going to open the hand and close the hand, and this is going to pump new fluids and blood into the joint, and again, it's really just going to help uh, intensify the results that you get from this mobility work, okay? So just adding a little bit of compression, just rolling around back and forth. You can go higher or lower up the arm, depending on how it feels for you. But just by doing some of these basic compression, moving around, compression, moving around, uh, it's just a good general daily habit for the health of the hands. So moving on from here, we're actually gonna talk a little bit about the alignment of the hands when it comes to lifting weights. All right, so the next point that you must keep in mind is the actual position of your wrist when you're actually lifting weight. So a very, very common thing in the bench press is having the weight into your hands such that it bends your wrist backwards. And as you can imagine, that's not exactly what we want. So you wanna be sure that you're stacking your wrist in such a way where the majority of the pressure is actually being distributed down the forearm, not back into the wrist, okay? So I'm just gonna demonstrate a couple of reps. Okay, so obviously when you grab a hold, you really wanna get tight through the fingers, wrap the thumbs around strong, and then 
what is sometimes advantageous to do is to actually slightly push the knuckles to the sky so that when you unrack, get the bar into position, it should feel secure so that when you come down maintaining vertical forearms and you press, And finally, one other way that you can practice that good wrist position is actually with bottoms up kettlebell work. Now certainly, kettlebells can be pretty good for a wrist and hand health through a variety of other exercises, but what's most specific to our bench and military pressing would be holding the kettlebell in a bottoms up position. So, from here, Obviously, you probably couldn't tell how I got that up into position, but the most important thing is how you are able to maintain wrist alignment while you've got a weight being balanced right here in your hand. So, if you can see, the basic idea is similar to how you might be holding a barbell in your hand. So, it could probably be a little bit deeper, but the idea is, is that the handle is biased more towards the heel of the hand, not too far back in towards the knuckles, okay? So, bottoms up exercises, like presses, um, even just holding that clean position and walking, all those things are great to kind of give you that practice, that mind-muscle connection for that alignment there in the wrist. So, that does it for today. Hopefully, you picked up some tips and tricks that you can incorporate into your bench and other type of pressing type workouts and let me know how they go for you. You can learn more in the link below and we'll see you next time.